hello welcome to all so uh, myself vishal thakre professor vishal thakre from snd college of engineering and research center yola in last lecture we have studied the actuators right uh, that is a third part of our uh, sensors and actuators okay so that is a fourth part of our video lectures uh, that is sensors and actuators so the next is a uh, petrol engine idle speed control right so in this uh, the idle speed control is an important element of the control strategy for any engine management system the control strategy for engine idling must take account of factors such as engine coolant temperature then engine load then a uh, power assisted steering then a uh, alternator load etc etc okay many systems are fitted with an idle speed control valve that provides a supply of air that by passes the throttle valve whilst whilst other system may make use of the electronic throttle control okay there are two types of valve are used to provide a computer controlled idle air supply one makes use of stepper motor as shown in uh, figure 6.12 and the other use uh, solenoid operated valve we have to see this diagram right that is a stepper motor operated air valve okay in this uh, stepper uh, stepper motor operated uh, air valve uh, is this right in this there is a throttle stop screw right then a pipe to connection of crankcase then idle idle fueling okay then uh, throttle po potentiometer right then there is a simple stepper meter uh, stepper motor are using right through uh, uh, pressurize the air okay so then next diagram you have to see that a solenoid operated idle speed control valve right in this uh, there are a, a number of uh, valves are operating in this right so uh, in this we have to uh, in in this we have to see that okay there is a simple uh, stepper motor operated valve that is the uh, figure we have to sh uh, showing in this shows the simplified arrangement of the extra air valve that is built into the throttle body of some petrol injection system the ecu pulses the transistor bases in the correct sequence so that the stepper motor moves the air valve to provide the correct air supply for any given condition the icu pulse sorry the ecu pulses the transistor bases in the correct sequence so that the stepper motor moves the air valve to provide the correct air supply for any given condition in addition other sensor signals will enables the ecu to provide the correct amount of fuel to ensure that the engine continues to run smoothly okay shows that the stepper motor with air valve attached okay there is a connector in this okay stepper motor air valve and their connector okay so uh, the multiple pin connection is typical of the type of connection that is used to electrically connect the stepper motor to the ecu the stepper motor can normally be checked by operating it with the diagnostic tool connected to the serial communication port of the acm okay then uh, when we have see the solenoid operated idle speed control valve right so this type of valve regulates the amount of air that by passes the throttle valve right the medium of solenoid operated valve of the type 
as shown in this figure in the rest position shown the wall is closed by the spring right there is a four number of uh, spring right and five number is a wall right and the armature of the solenoid is that is uh, there is a two uh, number are seeing in this picture that is a uh, armature of the solenoid right then is pushed back inside the solenoid coil right there is a three number is coil when operating the energized solenoid open the valve and admits air to the induction system the quantity of air admitted is controlled by duty cycle pulses that are sent from the ecm so that is a simple solenoid operated valve right then electronic control unit i have you tell you that earlier that is a two main part on this that is ecm and ecu so the main part is ecu uh, so in this uh, figure we have to see this right there is a simple input sensor then your ecu uh, ecm right and the outputs components right so figure shows the general form of computer that consist of following parts so in this a central processing unit we have to see that a central processing unit in this then input and output devices there is a input devices in this and there is a output devices in there right then memory okay there is a memory in this then a program okay program on upper side of top side then a clock for timing purpose a clock for the timing purpose right data processing is one of the main function that computers perform data in computers terms is the representation of the fact or ideas in a special way that allows it to be used by the computers in the case of digital computers this usually means binary data where number and letters are represented by codes made up from 0s to 1s right means there is a coding between the when we have using a programming right so the input and output interfaces enables the computer to read input and the make the required outputs right we have to see in this right diagram there is a input receiving the position or the uh, position of the component then they have told the uh, ecu is uh, uh, central processing unit and then that uh, uh, central processing unit command to the your uh, fuel injector egr right and your solenoid operated switch okay so there is simple processing is the manipulation and movement of data and this is controlled by the clock right memory is required to hold the main operating program and hold data temporary while it being worked on right so there is simple uh, <coughs> diagram of simple ecu right then computer memory read only memory rom right rom is where the operating program for the computer is placed it consists of an electronic circuit which gives certain outputs for predetermined input values roms have large storage capacity read and write or random access memory is where data is held temporary temporarily where it is being worked on by the processing unit placing data is memory is referred to as writing and the process of using this data is called reading right then next is the clock the clock is an electronic circuit that utilizes the piezoelectric effect of quartz crystal to produce accurately timed electrical pulses that are used to control the action of computers clock speeds are measured in the number of electrical pulses generated in one second one pulse are second second is 1 hertz and most computer clocks operate in one 
sorry operates in millions of pulses per second 1 million persons pulses per second is 1 megahertz okay so there is the end of our lecture thank you next time we have take the next topic okay in our uh, syllabus topic uh, related okay so thank you